Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to teach you the polynomial exponent rules. So our first rule is the multiplication law of exponents and that tells us that if the bases are the same, x squared times x cubed, I keep the base and I add the exponents. Okay, so that's our first law. If your bases are the same as they are here, you keep the base and you add the exponents. And the same thing happens if they're numbers. So if I had 2 squared times 2 cubed, I don't write a 4 here. I keep the base, which is a 2, and add the exponents, 2 to the fifth. Okay? So that's your multiplication law of exponents. Now our division law of exponents says that if the bases are the same, so if I had a to the fourth power, fifth power over a to the second power, my bases are the same, I'm going to keep my base and subtract my exponent. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And again, the same thing works with numbers. If I had 6 to the fifth over 6 squared, my bases are the same, so I keep them, I don't divide them, and I subtract my exponents. So this is the multiplication law of exponents, this is the division law of exponents. Then you have the power to the power law. So if I had a to the third power raised to the second power, now what I do is I actually multiply my exponents and I get a to the sixth power, okay? So again, works the same with numbers. If I had two to the third and I wanted to raise that to the fourth, now I get two to the twelfth. So if I'm multiplying exponents, I see if the base is the same, I keep the base, add the exponents. If I'm dividing with exponents, I check and see if the base is the same. It is. I keep it, and I subtract exponents. If I'm raising a power to another power, then I keep the base, and I multiply the exponents. And the other law that you should know of exponents is that anything to the zero power is 1. So if I had 5 to the zero power, it's 1. If I had x to the zero power, it's 1. If I had a million to the zero power, it's 1. So those are your basic laws of exponents.